so good evening students i am back with my second video and i am very thankful to you all for your feedbacks and your uh, congratulations messages for the first video that I, that i have made uh, and thank you i will take uh, your feedbacks very positively to improve the quality and the content of my uh, upcoming videos today i am going to take up a question that one of my student has asked uh, recently who is going to give a board exams of class 10 that uh, how to how to manage uh, the subject of science and how to prepare it well in the whatever the amount of time is left that is one month so without wasting much of your time uh, let me begin with my first suggestion i'm sure that all of you must have made a timetable which you people are following religiously if not then guys it's already late please do it as soon as possible and you have to you have to uh, give minimum 8 hours for your studies throughout the day if you can study about 10 to 12 hours that's great but at least 8 hours you have to study and uh, you have to first of all you have to identify the least prepared chapters of your science book i mean there are uh, all uh, altogether four chapters in chemistry and four in physics and about six in biology so you have to identify those chapters which you have not yet prepared well and there are a lot of gray areas so once you do that try to focus on those chapters and complete the chapter as soon as possible if there are some concept that has to be clarified consult the guides that you have guides means your teachers your mentors if you have some uh, lack of practice in some of the questions of uh, those chapters do that and clarify uh, your concepts as soon as possible so the first thing that you need to do is to identify those chapters which you have not yet prepared well then in my previous video i also have told you about the importance of ncert once again i would repeat that you have to ensure that each and every question of your ncert book you are you have done i mean you are thorough with all the blue questions examples exercises of your ncert that is a must that is a minimum criteria that you need to fulfill in order to secure a good marks because as i have already told you earlier that uh, maximum questions will come from ncert very specially in biology and chemistry i believe that more than 90% of the questions will directly come from the ncert so you have to be thorough with ncert those students who are not able to focus on side books or sample papers if they complete ncert thoroughly i can guarantee that you all will also secure some good marks then you have to focus specifically on some important diagrams i think your teachers must have already told you that what are the important diagrams in your science uh, syllabus very special in biology and uh, the activities that are in chemistry so those diagrams you need to prepare because you know the diagram based questions are carrying greater marks like uh, most of the five there will be six five marks questions two from biology two from chemistry and two from physics and there are great chances that those uh, questions would be diagram based even some of your three marks questions will also be diagram based so you have to be very very thorough and you have to uh, practice the diagrams very carefully very especially the labeling part the footnote the i mean the if the if the three marks questions ask you some uh, reasons and those reasons have to be supported by some kind of diagrams please don't hesitate draw the diagram to explain your answer in a better way that would be very impressive on your part then every day at least try to solve one sample paper it it doesn't matter that what sample paper books you have be it of any publication that doesn't matter but at least try to solve one sample paper at your own ease at your own um, convenience every day of science uh, that will help you to you know uh, sh sharpen your weapon i mean that although you have prepared well although you are thorough with the syllabus but if you um, practice your sample papers nicely then what will happen is you will gain more confidence to face the question paper because many a times the questions that comes uh, in the board they they will be related to your topics or the uh, concept that you have studied from your uh, ncert textbook but they would be asked in some different way where the students gets trapped so it would be my suggestion that please 
solve one sample paper every day so that now about a month is left more than a month month is left so you would be quite uh, thorough and you will feel very confident when you will face the question paper the most then, important thing that i'm going to talk about now is beyond your studies that is you need some time to relax and this is a must most of your guys your mentors will tell you that what to study how to study how much to study which i was also trying to do uh, some time back as well as my previous videos but now the most important thing that i believe which i always wanted to uh, you know suggest you all which i have been doing with my students in the class as well that you need some time to relax you need some uh, time to spend with your own with your own self which is known as the me time that is very important and how to relax uh, try to listen to the music that you love try to meditate try to simply close your eyes and focus on the sounds around you whatever whatever gives you comfort do that if you want to go out to spend some time with your friends if they are free if you want to see a movie at home if you want to just play around for half an hour or one hour and so do that but do something to recreate yourself do something to relax yourself do something to de-stress de yourself and do it every day that is very important to you to condition your mind to recharge your brain so that you can concentrate on your studies better so that when you sit to give a sincere study the things gets well imbibed into your head for that you need this recharging along with relaxation techniques and meditation i would also strongly advise you to take care of your food habits very specially during this period i mean try to avoid fried and fatty foods as much as possible keep yourself hydrated take fruits whichever you like and green vegetables but don't take heavy meals at night don't take uh, fried items or fatty foods throughout the day because all these things can upset your uh, metabolism which will affect your concentration and which will affect your overall uh, what you call uh, effort in preparations so it's my earnest request to you all my students that please take care of your food habits and sleep you need to relax for at least 7 to 8 hours so don't try to compromise with your sleep if your head is calm is cool then you will be able to put your 100% and make the best output out of it okay guys so i hope that today's video will definitely help you and if you like it then subscribe my youtube channel and wait for some better videos for you all i mean it i will come back with some better videos which will definitely give you some more ideas more suggestions not only in science but in our overall subjects please please give your feedback your feedback is very important for me thank you